ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೇನೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಇರೋದು ಒಂದು ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಹಾಗೂ ಎಸ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಹಾಗೂ ಇತರ ಏನು ಉದ್ಯೋಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ನಡೆದಿದೆಯೋ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸರ್ಕಾರದಿಂದ ಸೊ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಮಾತಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಏನಂತಂದರೆ ಈ ಐದು ನೂರ ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಅಧಿಸೂಚನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು 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 ಹುದ್ದೆಗಳನ್ನು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಮಾರ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಹತ್ತತ್ರ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕೋಟಿ ತಗೋಬಿಟ್ಟು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾರ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ವರದಿನೂ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹಗರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಡಿ ಜಿ ಪಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಅಮೃತ್ ಪೋಲ್ ಅವರವರೆಗೂ ಅರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಅರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಗರಣ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಐದು ಆರು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ನಾವು ಸತತವಾಗಿ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷಿಗಳು ನಾವು ಸುಮಾರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷ ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷಿಗಳು ಈ ಒಂದು ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ವಿಚಾರವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ರಾಹುಲ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಅವರು ಕೇಳೋದಿಷ್ಟೇ ನಮಗೆ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೊಡಿಸ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಆಗಿದೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರಪ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಿಲೀಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೋಪ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೇ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪನಿಷ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಟ್ವೈಸ್ about doing this type of thing with the future of our students again but whatever we do will be within the framework of the law chaitra will now ask the next question b civil engineering graduate presently work maartta idin pwd exams ge uh, government alli 2.5 lakh job vacancies ide anta heltare but 20 lakh unemployed idivi but recruitments ke call e agalla ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ನಾವು ಉದ್ಯೋಗವನ್ನು ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅದು ಡಿಲೇ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ನ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಖಾಲಿ ಕೂರೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತೀವಿ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸೇ ಕೊಡ್ದಂಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರಲ್ಲೂ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರಲ್ಲೂ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಸೊ ದೇ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅರ್ ಅನ್ ಓವರ್ವ್ಯೂ of where jobs can come from so the first place jobs can come from is by fulfilling all the vacancies in current government positions and that is something that we are absolutely committed to but that is not going to be enough to give the large number of youngsters jobs in karnataka so then you will have a question okay what about the rest of the youngsters what happens to them so the first place that a large number of jobs can come from is the healthcare and the education sector so we will spend a lot more money in public health public education and nutrition and these will be government jobs with a certain amount of stability so that's the second place we will create jobs and the third place we will create jobs is in the private sector now today what is happening is the governments are attacking the small and medium business sector the government today is allowing the banks to be completely monopolized by four or five really big companies and they are squeezing and destroying the small and medium sector by actions like demonetization and gst but the reality is the largest number of private sector
and give small and medium businesses access to finance from the banks. And we will also create special uh, financial instruments to help young entrepreneurs to build their own businesses. And of course, as I'm speaking in Karnataka, it goes without saying that we would also look at outsourcing and IT and connecting India with the rest of the world and creating more of those type of jobs here. But I would like to tell them that there is a big connection between employment, a healthy economy and harmony. A society that is not harmonious, a society that is not at peace, a society that is violent cannot grow economically, cannot give its youngsters jobs, cannot have a future. Imagine, imagine if you are a foreigner and you want to go somewhere on a holiday, somewhere for tourism. Would you rather go to a peaceful place or would you rather go to a violent place? It's obvious you would go to a peaceful place, a place where you are safe. And what the BJP and the RSS are doing is making India violent, angry, and that is not good for the country. It is not good for our youngsters, it is not good for our future, and that's why we are doing this Bharat Chodo Yatra. The next question will be asked by Manjunatha. Nan Manjunatha Anta, Ide Vidana Sabha Kshetra Ke Bilong Akhtini. I am an engineering graduate, sir. I have been doing a lot of education for my parents. I have been prepared for this competitive exam. I have invested a lot of money. But I have been doing a lot of money because of privatization of PSUs. We are losing a job. It is like to be going to lose jobs. Because many people are living in the country. We are living in the country. We are living in the country. We are living in the country. But this privatization is not an opportunity. And sir, uh, there is no clarity on reservation policies. We from social and eco economically background uh, weaker sections, uh, how can we get into your PSUs and represent our communities so that all in one go will yeah. improve ourselves? Well, I don't agree with the rampant privatization of government assets. And, and if we are in power, we will not allow the rampant privatization of public now, sector units because, because it is public sector units that can give employment to the weaker sections yeah. and, and public sector units that are given the right space, the right environment to operate in, that are given the freedom to operate properly, do perfectly well. Yeah. sir, now tumba dukkha dali divi, WhatsApp group ali now nam illi free ag uta sigutto, adan location kals pitto, alina spadatmika pariksha abhyarthi galige, well, we will try to make sure that they don't have to have these WhatsApp groups when our government comes to power here. The next question will be asked by no, Shruti. No, I met you already. Yes, Nange Rahul Gandhi ji na meet madi tumba kushi aito. Nanu Tumkur districtu korodkere talo kinda ondo putta grama dinda nanu bandi dene. Nanu abba bada kutum badali jansi Kannada medium nali vodi. Ivat nanu degree. PG, Ella Madhuru Kuda, and Kannada media are not able to get the same thing. And the central government job is not able to get the same thing. And the same thing is not able to get the same thing. And the same thing is that the government is not able to get the same thing. What is the name of the government? That is not the same thing in English. We are not able to get the same thing in the same thing. So, I think uh, this is a fundamental thing. I think there should be absolutely no compromise on this. Kannada is your language and one of the reasons I am forcing them, many of them know English, but one of the reasons I am forcing them to speak Kannada is because it is your language and it deserves a space. If you if you want to communicate in Canada, it is your right to communicate in Canada. A language, a language is much more than simply something you use for conversation. A language has hope, a language has imagination, a language has history in it. And every state should have the right 
to use its language and if the students want to do exams in that language they should be allowed to do exams in that language the last question that we'll be taking will be from mallayya nan hesaru mallayya anta nan mba odidini yenappa andre igina igina dinamanagalalli navu mba odibitte job sigtilla navu en martta idivi zomato amele swiggy ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಜಾಬು ನಮ್ಮ ನಾವು ಓದಿ ನಾನು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಅಂಡರ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವೇಟು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವೇಟು ನಾನು ಇವಾಗ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನನಗೆ ನನಗೆ ತಕ್ಕದಂಥ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮನ ಸಾಕಬೇಕಿತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಏಜ್ಗೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತಾರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೇಳು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಏನೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪನ ಸಾಕಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಇನ್ನೂ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಆದ ಜಾಬ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಜಾಬ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡಿ ಜೊಮ್ಯಾಟೊ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಹೌದು ನಾನು ಎಂ ಬಿ ಎ ಓದಿದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಗೆ ಜೊಮೊಟೊ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ಅದು ನನಗೆ ಫೀಲು ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮಗೆ ಯಾವ ತರ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಜೊಮೊಟೊ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾನು ಬದುಕ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸರ್ ಏನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಗೋತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ನನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ there has to be a strategy for job creation na munche helidante jobs don't just get created like that the reason he is part employed the reason he is struggling is because the state of karnataka does not have a strategy to create jobs and and the government of karnataka and the government of india are both attacking the system which creates jobs please think about how many jobs were destroyed as a result of demonetization please think about how many jobs are getting destroyed today as a result of a bad gst please think about how many businesses were destroyed because of how the government of india and the government of karnataka responded to covid and that is why you are struggling because your government is not interested in giving you jobs i see this i see this as a waste of india's energy nanu waste anta tilkonidini useless matlab desh ki shakti zaya ho rahi hai and i see it as a crime right helping two or three big businesses handing the entire wealth of india to two or three businesses and keeping you unemployed is a crime so we will put in place a strategy both at the national and at the state level which will ensure that millions of youngsters get jobs we'll do it by filling vacancies by ensuring that healthcare and education jobs are created in the government sector by helping small and medium businesses thrive and by protecting them by opening the banks to them that's how we are going to do it and instead of focusing the attention of our youngsters on fighting with each other on beating each other up on abusing each other we will focus the attention of our youngsters on building this country and bringing it together and i am confident the moment we start to do that neither will he be doing a part time job and neither will there be any of those whatsapp groups where you are trying to figure out where to go and eat something for free i think you are among the most talented youngsters in the world i have been walking on the streets now of karnataka now you are you are absolutely brilliant and your government needs to start believing in you government needs to start empowering you and making you fulfill your dreams instead of destroying your dreams and shattering your hope thank you all very much for coming here today it's been a pleasure and i look forward to walking with as many of you that would like to walk with me thank you namaskar